guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas. So I am posting a video every single day for 25 days. So make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe, thank you. And as you guys see in the title, I'm going to share with you my TBR for December. If you don't know what TBR means, it means to be read. So the books that I want to read in December. I'm new to the book world. I actually just started reading. I just started my reading journey in... In June actually this past summer I shared a lot about it on my Instagram my Instagram is at Ashristine and then I also made a book Instagram bookstagram is at moms and nobles like Barnes and Noble but moms and nobles so trying to encourage moms to read more to escape reality because motherhood is crazy and sometimes we just need to escape and go into these nice romance worlds and it's just more simpler reading other people's problems than dealing with your real problems, you know what I mean? So I started reading and I've just been addicted to it. I'm literally obsessed, it's, it's a problem. I'm starting to um, have my little library that I'm starting to buy some books. So whenever we move to our new house, I'm gonna have, hopefully I would love to have like a big library and our office area. So like I said, just subscribe, more videos are coming your way. But let's get into this December TBR list. So I have four books in mind for December and hopefully I can get through them because December is obviously very busy with holidays and things like that. So I got three physical books and then I'm gonna read one on my Kindle. So first book is Second Chance Christmas by Jaquil J. I hope I'm saying that right. This is a black author. I don't really have that many black author books. So that was really my goal for this um, December. I really want to get um, black author books. So I did get two of them. So this one, let's read the synopsis on the back. Old flames are reunited with the burden of their past and a love that still lingers in this heartfelt holiday romance. So, being known as the daughter of Sageport's town drunk, always left Faith Stone defending her mother and herself. Her only solace was her boyfriend, Rome. Even as a teenager, Faith knew she wanted forever with Rome Atkins. Their small town, her mother's struggles, and everyone's opinions of their relationship couldn't hold them back forever. After graduation, they would put C Sageport behind them and start life anew together, but prom night changed everything. 15 years later, Faith, now divorced, single parent, finds herself back, back in Sageport for the holidays. The memories and pain are still fresh as if everything happened yesterday, especially when she runs into Rome, who had never left Sageport. Also fresh are the unexpected lingering feelings they still harbor for each other. Do old wounds run too deep or can the joy of Christmas provide enough healing power for a second chance love reunion so yeah i'm really excited about this one i am the type of book girl that judge a book by its cover i know it's horrible but i'm a sucker for these cute covers like look at this so excited to read this one i don't know which one i'm gonna read first got this actually from target when they had that bogo deal but i'll link all these books down below i'm sure you can get it anywhere next book another black author uh, the Christmas Catch by Tony Silo. Shiloh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. A sweet holiday novella. When two high school sweethearts reunite, will they take another chance at love or let life sideline them at Christmas? Bench with a career ending injury, NFL wide receiver Jahil Walker is forced to return to his hometown of Peachwood Bay. I don't know where these where these authors get these uh make believe towns. It's so interesting. <laughs> Uh, is that real? Peachwood Bay, Georgia? Look at me. I don't know. <laughs> hey, this is why you read, you learn. Okay. Anyways, during the holidays to heal despite his rocky relationship with his father, nothing shocks him more than running into Lucille Bebe Gordon. Lucille, that's my grandma's name. B.B. Gordon came home to Peachwood Bay three years ago with a divorce certificate and her daughter. Why is everyone getting divorced? I never noticed that. When Jahil returns for the first time in eight years, all the memories of the past come rushing back. The connection between them is still strong, but Jahil has no plans to stay in Peachwood Bay and BB won't risk him leaving her again. At their hometown's Christmas festivities, bring them together, Jahil must decide if he's only home for the holidays or if the Christmas spirit that brought them together will last all through the year. Very similar, now I'm thinking about it. Both of them seem rather similar, so we'll see. I think I might read one 
and then read something else in between and then read this one you know so i feel like they might be very very similar and the next book a very popular book in the bookstagram book world is the christmas tree farm i feel like everyone's reading this book in december so i'm excited to read it right now i'm actually reading the cinnamon bun bookstore and i'm really loving it so far um, I didn't read the Pumpkin Spice Cafe because I heard it was kind of like, eh, you know, like there was like mixed reviews on it. Um, and I came across a reel saying that the Cinnamon Bun and the Christmas Tree Farm are way better than the Pumpkin Spice. So I just skipped that whole first book and just went to the second book. So I'm really liking that one. So depending on how this ends, I might just dive into this. The Magic Starts Here by Lori Gilmore. Um, let's read about it. A small town spicy festive romance. Kira North hates Christmas, which is unfortunate since she just bought a Christmas tree farm in a town that's too cute for its own good. Bennett Ellis is on vacation in Dream Harbor trying to take a break from both his life and his constant desire to always fix things. But somehow fate finds Ben trapped by a blanket of snow at Kira's farm and despite her grinchiest first impressions with the glow of the fairy lights twinkling in the trees and the promise of warming hot chocolate, maybe, just maybe, these two lost souls will have a Christmas they'll remember forever. So that's that, these three books, and then on my Kindle. And the last book I want to read is How My Neighbor Stole Christmas by Megan Quinn. Everyone has been talking about this book. Everyone. Everybody's been talking about it. The spice, but apparently the spice is like really later in the book. And it has something to do with a candy cane. That's all I know. And it sounds a little crazy. So I wouldn't know what's going on in this book. So usually how I read is I re usually read like a physical book during the, uh, in the morning. And then I read my Kindle at night. So most likely I'm going to re be reading some of these books at the same time. And I usually listen to an audiobook. So I listen to audiobooks on Libby. I don't have Audible. But I would like to see if these two books are on there. But probably not because I don't know how new these are. But I'm going to look into it because I really like listening to like an audiobook while I'm doing chores, you know, washing dishes, folding clothes, all that boring stuff that I hate doing. But since I started reading and I listen to audiobooks, like it's making it more enjoyable so I can like, you know, just listen to the book and get something done, mark things off my TBR list, things like that. These are the four books that I'll be reading in December. I am a part of a Facebook group. I think it's called Bookish Babes or Bookish Baddies. I don't know. I'm going to put it right here. But they are reading this book, How My Neighbors Stole Christmas. They are reading this book in December. So I joined their little group. So I've never been a part of a book club before. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so I think they have it for like three weeks. So I think like the first week is like the beginning to like chapter 11. And then next week, chapter 12 to whatever. You know, it's just three weeks because December is so busy for everybody. So I think they're trying to like rush this book a little bit faster. So yeah, what books are on your December TBR? Let me know down below. I really want to be in this holiday spirit as you can see. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing a freaking bow sweater. Like, I'm ready for the holidays. I want to be drenched in snow and Christmas decorations and hot chocolate, Christmas carols. Like, I'm ready to be in another town in these books. So I'm hoping they live up to what i'm thinking but let me know down below what books you're reading or what's your favorite holiday book anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up a comment down below make sure you guys subscribe more videos are coming your way because it's vlogmas and i'll see you guys next time Bye.